Hey friends, Coleman Alderson with GardensAll.com. I'm here in our little arbor that we created two years ago and we were growing squash in it. This year we're going to experiment, um, no surprise there. <laughs> yeah, we're going, to, we're going to experiment and um, it's using a method that's pretty tried and true of growing your tomatoes up on strings, uh, twisting them around a string and having them grow up. I think the unique thing that I have yet to see is using a uh, cattle panel fence system arched in an arch as a support network for, um, for the tomatoes. So the material, basic material is this jute. Now you can get it in brown, this happens to be dyed green. It's superior to uh, your regular string which often is made of nylon or, or some other kind of um, synthetic it's rough so this roughness allows the plant to get a better grip it also decomposes after a while but they should last uh, it lasts a season so it's really a great material we use a lot of it and I've deployed some here I've already gone down here and strung out um, strings in it you just try to make sure you're you're more or less over the plant now we're using this system you could use uh, I've seen bamboo, mm -hmm. uh, I've seen uh, boards and then a, a two by four over the top to, to suspend the string from. I guess you could use a pipe. But uh, since this was here and we're using um, the raised bed system this year, in this particular uh, archway, we're also using the red mulch. It's pinned down on the side a bit by the um, wood chips but the red mulch supposedly its reflective quality actually accentuates the uh, growth and harvest of the tomato plants and that actually has some science behind it so do you know how that works it's light okay. <laughs> it's, so it's, it's a certain bandwidth of light that the plants like okay. and is that covering the entire bed uh, yes, it is. Okay. It, it goes all the way to the edge, but I wanted to sort of pin it down to keep it from flopping around. Right. Plus it looks nice with the mulch. Right. So, what we do to start off with is we take a typical plant like this, and we come down to a lower set of leaves. Now, um, these were set out maybe two weeks ago, and they're already putting out what we call suckers. So I'm just going to pinch this sucker out. Um, I may even go ahead and take this lower leaf down. We don't want leaves touching the ground or too close to the, <clears throat> the ground because they're the first to get any sort of uh, fungus or, or disease. So we're going to come in under here. Oh, we have another, look. We have another little, this is a sucker. And we don't need them. We're going to grow this thing straight up and we don't need it going out in a multitude of directions. So we're training this little fella and looking for the main stem. This is a little bit of a dilemma. What do you do? Well, it looks like this is right here. This is also what we call a sucker. You can get in here, it's a little thicker. And you can try to cut close to the stem. You don't want to expose it. You don't want to harm the main stem. All right, now when I come down to tie this, I don't want it tight. I don't want this thing to cinch up on the main stem of the plant and um, you know basically choke it or even sever it so I'm going to be real careful about how I tie this this knot here um, so it isn't a real cinch knot and there's no main trick you just make sure you double knot and double knot <laughs> until you're sure you have it so it isn't going to slip on you okay See, it's trying to slip, so I'm not going to let it do that. I'm going to come through here and tie it again. I know this is kind of hard to see, but just be real careful about how you... Um, I'm going to try not to... Yeah, we can do that. Slip yeah, so you see how loose this is? I can't see because your hand's there. Sorry. See how loose? It just goes, slides up and down, and this is what you want. Okay? Okay. And then as the plant grows, you're going to wind this stem and begin to train it up. Now up here, I've left it loose, and there's a little loop here that I can 
move around. You see, I just tensioned it. Not up there. Yeah, and then I can come back through here again and tie it. Sorry, I'm just getting your hand. Sorry. Sorry. And then another little loop to loop, and this can be undone very quickly if I need to. So this is how it's going to be. We're going to train this plant to go up to here. And I haven't made my mind up whether I will just let the top of it grow out or trim the top or shift it over. So that's, that's kind of a, a judgment call on what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. But we're excited. This looks like a, 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 I've seen a lot of success in this growing method. So we're really excited to try it out. And of course, we will let you know how it works out. And we'd love to hear from you if you're doing anything like this or similar, how it's working out for you. So maybe we could just, you know, the more we know, the more we grow together, right? Okay, well, thanks you guys. It's always a pleasure. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.